In this snippet, we'll take a look at creating folders, deleting folders, creating empty files, uh, deleting files, and deleting files are folders with files in them, all within the terminal. To begin with, I'll select Applications, System Tools, and then Terminal. As the terminal opens up, um, I'm going to be located currently at the home directory of my folder. I actually need to navigate to the desktop uh, where my files are currently located. To do that, I'll type in CD space capital D E and then SKTOP. The forward slash is optional. You can go ahead and just type in CD the desktop. Hit enter as I did. And if you make the mistake of a small D it will not be it will not actually find the file or folder so you need to have that capital D located there the ls command just lists the contents here that we're working with uh, you can see preamble and US Constitution are listed here I can see those here uh, on my desktop itself it does not list these three icons or so those are special links but uh, those are two commands that we'll need to kind of know as we go through this command line like the snippet uh, to begin, let's go ahead and create a directory uh, or a folder. The folder uh, that I'm going to go ahead and create is just going to be called test. And as I type the command in, you'll notice that test folder was created on my desktop. And I can also remove that by typing in the rmdir command. Uh, and go ahead and type in the name of the folder I want to remove. And that will remove that folder as well. So I can make a directory using mkdir. I can remove a directory using the rmdir. One thing to note about the remove directory command, it will only remove empty folders, folders without any contents within them. Now as we go through, I can also use the touch command. The touch command will create an empty folder, or excuse me, an empty file for me on my desktop. Uh, so I can go ahead and call this uh, empty. And there it is, it created that empty file for me. Uh, and I of course named it empty to indicate that there's nothing in there. Now I can create files and folders um, with the spaces in the names. Now I just want to show you what would happen if I were to try to create a file called empty file. Now I do have a space within the name as you can see here. If I hit enter, it's actually going to create just file. One of the reasons uh, you'll see just says here is with the touch command, if I t type in the touch command and have an existing file, all it does is will it'll update uh, the last time the file has been accessed uh, and modify the, the, the properties of the file. Now it looked here and it did that to the empty file. It looked at the space and said, okay, they're looking or at creating another file called file. As you can see here, it did just do that. It created file. So if I run this touch command again one more time, touch, and I type in something else, uh, lecture, snippet, it should now just create two files like it did, because lecture did not exist, and then another file called snippet. Now I can remove these using the rm command, rm uh, lecture, rm snippet. Well, let's go ahead and remove the file and remove the empty file as well. Now to create a file with a space in it, what I want to do is actually, I'll use the touch command one more time. This time I'll put it within quotes. So let's go ahead and call this empty file within quotes. And there, you, as you can see, I do have a space within the file. Now another way to create this file, let's go ahead and remove this file. is to actually use a backslash right before my space. So if I type in the word empty again, if I backslash and then put a space in, what it's telling my terminal here is to ignore the space as a, as a command, but include it as just a basic character within this file. So I hit, actually I typed the rm command and let's go ahead and change that to a touch command. There we go, touch, and you can see it will create that file as well. So that's another way of quoting out that space. 
as we go through here. And I can go ahead and remove that file as well. RM empty file and it has now been removed. So let's go ahead and create one more folder. And I'll just call this one test with a lowercase uh, t. And then create one more file, call that touch. And we'll just call this uh, empty. Now what I'm going to do here on the GUI is actually drag this file inside of the folder. So you can see there's a file in there now. If I try to remove that folder test, it's going to come back and tell me that uh, the directory is not empty. And if I need to remove a folder that has files in it, I actually need to use the rm command with the r argument. And what that tells it is to recursively go within this folder, find all the files that are in there, delete all those first, and then delete the, the folder itself. So now I finished out this command, remove, and this is going to basically say go in and look at all the files in there, delete all those files, and then come out and delete the folder. And we're going to delete that, or the, the, the folder we're going to do this, perform this action on is going to be called test. So if I hit enter there, it will go ahead and remove that. So this has been the snippet on creating and removing directories and files, as well as removing folders with files within them.